Hey dudes, sorry I can't be there with you today, but there's a baby involved. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're gonna do some math. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully she starts crying before you do. <laughs> All right. So at the top of your notes, uh, you can put the six five factoring trinomial. And uh, what I'd like you to try for your warm-up is uh, expand these, right? Multiply. All right, so you're doing your first outer and your last. All right, you try that out. Go. It's freaking me out, kiddo. Okay, so <laughs> you did this first outer, inner, last, right? Uh, we figured out that this turns into x squared plus 5x plus 6, and this turns into x squared plus 10x plus 24, and... What we're going to learn to do today is not go this way, but go this way. Yeah, we're going to take this trinomial and turn it into binomials. Cool. So um, that's our learning outcome, be able to factor trinomials. Eventually, we're going to use the factored form to figure out where you launch and where you land in a projectile, among other things. My head's freaking me out. Where's your handle? Do you have a handle? No, you just you just have that weird head. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, what we're gonna figure out how to do, kiddo, come here. What we're gonna figure out how to do is go backwards. We we've, we've gone from expanded form to factored form with uh, numbers, and we said, hey, what what is uh, the twelve x and the three have in common? Or completely missed the three, and what they had in common was the three, and we pulled the three out front, right? We're going to do the same thing, but with binomials, yeah? And uh, so we're going from expansion to factoring. So let's try it out. All right. We want to take this, and we, we want this to be our end product. So let's figure out where this came from, right? If we uh, multiply this, you end up with uh, x squared plus 4x plus 6x plus 24. And it came from the middle pieces being multiplied, right? So really the 4x and the 6x have multiplied to, or added to this 10x. So when you think about it, these end pieces give you the 24, and these pieces, the 4x and the 6x, are what gives you the 10x, okay? So this B term is really, uh, this middle term is this is a sum of the b and uh, of this this six and the four term and this uh, 24 is the product of those right and that's what we're trying to get to all right so um we're going to take i mean this is the same thing we had we're going to let's work with it backwards and see how we get this x plus r and this x plus t yeah so let's try that out um, we figured out that this 10x is the sum of r and t, and 24 is the product of r and t. So really, if you think about finding the product of this last term, 24 can either be 2 or 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6, can be 1 and 24 also. Why are you breathing so loud, kiddo? Here. So, um, we, we know that the 24 comes from one of these two things multiplied, but also this 10x comes from two of these added or subtracted. Yeah, so it could be 12 and 2 being subtracted, so that could work. That's a possibility. 3 and 8's out because they can't add or subtract 3 and 8 to 10. And 4 and 6 could also do it. And since these are both, 12, both positives, right, this is a plus and this is a plus, you know that whatever uh, binomials you have, they're both going to be positive sides. It's, it's going to be plus and a plus, right? So we know it's going to be plus and plus. We know that this beginning is going to be x and x, right? x and x. Sorry about the handwriting. And then so all we're going to do is plug in one of these, one of these, and see if it makes it work, right? See if we get 24 when we foil it back out. If we put 2 and 12 in, that's great. And it does give us 24 as a c term. But when we foil this, this turns into 
x squared, 12x, 2 more x, so that's 14x, that's not what we're looking for. So 2 and 12 isn't our game. So let's try this 4 and 6. We try the 4 and 6, and when we refoil this out, you do get x squared, you get 24, and you get 6x and 4x, which is the 10x chain, right? So that's what we're going to be working with a lot. All right. So let's try that out on ones that we don't really know. If you think you got it, go for it. Give it a shot. The Your first step is put some parentheses up. Yeah, you know it's going to turn into two binomials. And because these are all plus and plus, there's going to be plus signs in here. Right? We also know that this ends up being x and x. And then now we're really looking for, for something that multiplies to 6, but adds to 5. So it could be 1 and 6, or 2 and 3. Thank you. All right. And so 1 and 6, if there was some subtraction involved, we could get to 5. But really, I'm guessing that this 2 and 3 would work the best. So let's try it. Plug 2 and 3 in here. That's an awful three, don't you think? Yeah, it's okay. And then uh, when we flip, factor it back or foil it back out, you get x squared. You get 3x, 2 more x, that's our 5. And 2 times 3, that gives us our 6. And so that's what we're looking for. Sweet. This guy's the same sort of thing. It's going to turn into x plus something and x plus something else. Pretty sure about that because everything's a plus and a plus. And we're looking for something that will multiply to 12, but uh, add to 7. So things that multiply to 12 are 2 and 6. Mm, that doesn't add to 7. Uh, let's see. Oh, hey, 3 and 4. 3 and 4. 3 and 4 multiply. Or multiply to 12, add to 7. So if you plug those in, oh, uh, <laughs> it's not right. <laughs> it's not right. Because this would give you x squared, 2x, and 6x. That would give you 8x. So this guy's not that guy's not right. Apologies. This should give you 3 and 4. right? Because if once you foil them, you get x squared, you get 12 at the end, and you get in the middle here 4x's and 3 more x's, and that's 7x. And so this is its factored form. Neat. That's it, uh, except there's some negatives, right? Um, I have the feeling you can do this. This is the same problem. Oh, here's just like steps. If you'd like to go step by step, write those down, we can attack them. I think if you do enough of these, they'll, they'll be fine anyway. Um, so if you'd like some more practice, try to factor this, try to factor this. Here's the answers. Go, bam, ba bam. That's y squared, 15 and 8, great. And that's 36 and 15, great. Cool. Make sure you can get those. Um, this is all fun in games when it's plus and plus, right? But sometimes the, the signs switch, don't they? They switch. Yeah, that's good. And um, the thing is that this is positive 5. So the things that can multiply to, to get positive 5 is positive 1 and positive 5. Right? And we know that those work because they have to add to 6. So 1 plus 5 gives you 6. And so it's this. But the alternate is like this. There's something a little different here with this, this negative on the 8. And what's interesting about that is there's a couple of ways to multiply with 15. 3 and 5 are one of them. But if you plug positive 3 and positive 5 in here, it was x plus 3 and x plus 5. You did pluses on both of them. When you foiled them out, you'd end up with a positive 8. And we don't have a positive 8. Man, my writing is slow with one finger. Uh, we don't have a positive 8. We have a negative 8. So what, that, what this negative 8 gives away is that these are not positives, but they're negatives, right? And that's not a big deal because if you have negative 3 and negative 5, they still multiply negative 3 to negative 5, still multiply to positive 15 when we foil these out, right? 
negative 3, negative 5, still positive 15. x times x, still x squared. And then this is negative 5x's minus 3 more x's, negative 8x's. And now our signs are accounted for. Sweet, sweet. Same sort of thing. We, we just have to be careful about the negatives and positives. Um, this guy, if this is negative, it means that in our parentheses, the only way to get a negative uh, product when you multiply is have one of the multipliers be a positive number and one of them be a negative number. So we know this is going to be x and x, right? I'm going to try to think about things that multiply to 15, uh, 1 and 15, but also 3 and 5. That's an awful 3, right? So 3 and 5 work, um, but I want them to be negative that when they multiply to, to negative 15, one of them's got to be negative. So we could either do 3 here. It looks like you're guessing, right? But if you started with positive 3 and negative 5, this would give you negative 5x, plus 3x would give you negative 2x. And since this is a positive number, the bigger number, right, 3 and 5, 5 is the bigger number. So the 5 should be where the, in front of the plus sign. Right? And the 3 should be negative. And so now you get x squared, and you get negative 3 times positive 5 gives you negative 15. And this gives you 5x minus 3x gives you 2x, and we're good. Cool? All right, I'm going to try that same thing with this mess. And we're going to factor the same, same way. Put up some parentheses. I know we've got to, I know we're, we've got x and x. That's the only way to get x squared, so I'm going to plug those in. It's the only thing I'm sure of so far. Oh, and I also know that this term is either 4 times 5, or 2 times 10, or 1 times 20, right? I'm not exactly sure what it's going to be, but if I multiplied and got negative 20, one of them is going to be negative, and one of them is going to be positive. And if you look at this negative 8x, it tells you that whatever you put in here, the bigger number is going to be with the negative. Um, so let's see, Five, and I know that this has to add or subtract to negative 8, and I can't do that with 4 and 5. Maybe you can, but I can't, right? Um, 2 and 10, now we're talking, right? And so since this is negative 8, I'm going to put the 10 here. And I just have done this a million times. She's only done this like six times, so give her a break. Um, so I'm going to put the 10 and the 2, and then once you factor it, you get x and x, you get x squared. You get negative 10 and positive 2 multiplied to negative 20, ka-ching, and, and then you get positive 2x minus 10x gives you negative 8x, and we're good. Sweet. Okay. So this is one of each flavor. Oh, oh you saw the answers. Don't look. Uh, pause me, try to, f try to factor these. In number one, you might have to pull out a common factor, right? Factor these, factor these. If you can do these, these are like the, the tricky ones, right? There's one with all positives, one with a negative positive, one with positive and negative, one with a negative and negative. If you can do these, you're cake. it's cake, yeah? All right, pause me and go. We're gonna do a dance or something. Do a dance, do a dance, do a dance. Do a dance. Are you still breathing? So, uh, you've pulled out a, a 2 out of here, and this becomes x squared, da, 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 and it factors to that. In 2, this factors to negative and negative. Because this is positive and this is negative, these should both be negatives. Same thing here. This is negative, so 1 has to be positive, 1 has to be negative. Because the x is positive, the bigger number is going to be positive here, and vice versa here. Cool. Great, if you got that, it's done. Um, I wanted to show you this. 
um, this I've factored for us. I've turned y squared plus 10x plus 21 into this mess. Fine. Um, I wanted to show you that when you evaluate this and this, evaluate means plug in a number and solve. Let's plug in two just for fun. I plugged it in here, I plugged it in here, I clean things up, right? When you when you square this and add all this together, you get this mess. When you add, add these and add these and multiply, you get this mess. And when you clean them up a little bit, you get this equals this, right? They're the same. And what I want you to see is we're not changing the essence of the expression. All we're doing, it's very exciting. All we're doing is changing how it looks so that we can manipulate it better later. Cool. One last final note. See how all the equal signs are all lined up and I'm changing one thing at a time. Boom, 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 boom. That's how mathematics is done. It's not my way, it's the way. So show that uh, work process. Cool. That's it. Um, you are attacking a handful of these problems. The same sort of thing, you're going to factor them fully. Uh, solutions are up on the VLE, they're also right here if you need them. And uh, we're gonna go have a nap. Oh, child's play, that was child's play. <laughs> okay, bye.